boom. What's up, my name is Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about Ticket Symbol and IO Neo. Uh, there's been some major development and this stock took a beating. So we're gonna make sure that we cover that here on the channel. You guys know I'm a big fan of Neo. I own the stock. So I'm trying to keep you guys updated for those of you guys that own this stock. But before we get started, guys, if you are new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So guys, if you looked at today, NEO took a massive bidding in the market and you're probably wondering why that's the case. So um, last week, NEO had their earnings call and we predicted or we kind of talked about what was going to happen, what we anticipate that was going to happen. Um, NEO came out swinging um, in all three major categories, the number of deliveries, the bid that, revenue, the bid that, earnings per share, the bid that. So not by a lot though. Um, I mean, for obvious reasons, they talk about the cheap uh, shortages. They talk about expanding their swap stations. They talk about expanding to Europe, Norway, bringing more cars. And so they didn't really crush their earnings per se. But uh, if you got up Monday morning, you noticed that Neo was taking a beating. And the reason is because Neo actually had an issue. So let me just kind of switch here into the news so you can actually see um, the news that we put out there. So there was a car, Neo's car, that crashed and killed a prominent uh, business entrepreneur in, in China. So again, obviously, we've seen this story several times. Remember when uh, there were some issues or people complained that there was uh, an accident with Tesla? Guess what happened? The stock took a beat and people just respond to those kind of uh, news negatively. So they go and sell because they're thinking the price of the stock is going to pull back. So again, more of the news here. Uh, this In this front, this is the only good news that I see that we, we can also benefit from that. A big Canadian pension fund hikes its position in NEO. So again, when you see bad news like this, the price of the stock drops people jump in smart people buy the dip why uh people that are not very good at investing sell so when you're selling you're selling to somebody somebody's buying who do you think is buying when you're selling it do you think somebody wants to be jumping into the fire no they are buying because they knew they know exactly how important that is so when you sell somebody's buying they're buying the dip and they're going to turn around as this thing popped they sell it again and make profit or hold it uh, for the long run. So again, that's the reason why NEO stock actually took that beating. So if we uh, take a look here at NEO, um, you can see here, this is a six month. I switched to one day. Notice that the thing just the all day pulled back um, and it's still sitting under that 38 um, or $39 price point sitting on that 39. So 5.83% uh, down for the day. So again, this is no, uh, our, like magic news, I, I would anticipate something like this happening if there is any major incident. Again, like I said, we've seen that with um, with Tesla. When Tesla had an issue, um, people really started selling hard. So I want to make sure that we cover this here on the channel. Um, this is not going to be a long video, but for those of you that are on and an whole new long term, this is not to me personally. This is not reason enough for you to panic. As a matter of fact. When you see dips like this, this is where you take advantage of actually going in and even buying uh, more of the stock. So again, guys, this is no big reason for us to panic because NEO has been doing some great stuff. As you can see, like I mentioned, they talked about their earnings. That came out good. Their expansion into Europe. Um, again, their deliveries have been spot on. Um, I think uh, the ES8, this model right here, this is the one that is selling the most based on the numbers from their uh, from their earnings call and then the EC, EC6 that's doing pretty good as well and then ET7 again this is the one that's coming uh, to compete in my personal opinion with the Model Y from Tesla so um, Neo is a stock to hold so do not panic um, unless you kind of like were in the swing trade mode or whatever uh, there shouldn't be any reason for you to panic and and sell like most people are doing so it's bad news uh, but again, the, that's the, the way you get opportunities in the market is from different angles. Um, it, so yeah, somebody died was so sad that they lost their life. But if it presents an opportunity for you to trade, 
you you should take advantage of the trade and 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 make the most out of it so that's um why uh, i wanted to cover this video guys because again news like this gives you opportunity uh, make sure that you take advantage of it. Don't panic again in my personal opinion and when we look at the numbers uh, I think Neo is still poised. This thing is still cooking. You would see these up and downs and again I have a lot of people sending me messages and asking me like hey, what about Neo? I bought Neo at 40 and now it's down to 30. If you bought Neo as again for you guys that I keep talking here on the channel if you bought Neo for a long term don't even look at it. Find some place and sit. You, if you panic and sell this, you're gonna regret. You can ask people that did the same thing with Tesla. Um, when Tesla was like 150 or even 200, uh, it kept going back and forth and people were like sold. And then today you sit back and you're regretting. So for a long-term investor, you have to stomach this up and down. That's how the market works. Uh, if you were swing trading, and then I'll say cut your losses and move on to the next trade, but if you are if you are a long-term trader and you bought Neo, do not panic. As a matter of fact, if you have money, when you see dips like this, load up because that's an opportunity. When this thing bounces back, you're going to be sitting pretty good. So that's what I wanted to just let you guys know. Again, let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Um, are you a panic seller or are you holding or are you buying the dip? Uh, again, let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get free stocks. Links in the description. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.